So, Spatial Audio AirPods. They've been teased since WWDC this year. I had very high expectations for it. It's finally here out in iOS 14. I've tested it, it works, but I wanted to see how they compare to a product that was designed to do head tracking to begin with. I'm Travis Tristech, and in this video, I'll be comparing the AirPod Pro's new Spatial Audio to the AutoZ Mobius headphones. Now this isn't gonna be a review of either product, but rather a discussion of Spatial Audio as most people will be coming across it for the first time. I've also included a link to a very cool spatial audio test that you can try for yourself in the description below. And while you're down there, you can support the channel by subscribing and ringing that notification bell. The test will work with any pair of headphones and the results might really surprise you. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Very quickly so you know what the AirPod Pros are being compared against, these are the Mobius headphones. They're designed and made by Odyssey, a pro audio company out of California. These guys make headphones that cost upwards of $4,000, so they seriously must know what they're doing. They recently started exploring gaming and multimedia headphones, and that's exactly where the Mobius comes in. These guys were designed for full 3D emulation, and they achieved this by combining sound localization, integrated head tracking, and room emulation, just like Apple is trying to do with the AirPods. Now, we don't know how Apple's engineered spatial audio in the AirPods Pro, but with the information from the Mobius, we can take a closer look. Starting from sound localization, the headphones will identify and maintain a directional source of sound no matter how your head turns. Then with room emulation, it will be as if you were listening to a pair of speakers in a room with all the echoes bouncing back into your ears. And finally, it all gets tied together with head tracking. It will precisely measure your head movements and feed it into the 3D emulation algorithm and give you a completely immersive experience. Now all of this is powered by Waves NX, a class-leading DSP or digital signal processing technology. Again, I've linked the Waves NX demo down in the description below, so make sure you check it out with any pair of headphones. You'll be able to experience what spatial audio sounds like without owning a pair of AirPod Pros. With that out of the way, let's get into how these guys compare. Just very quickly, I'll be comparing them in four different categories. How well you can customize the experience, the tracking and accuracy, the sound effect quality and how natural it sounds, and finally, what it works with. The Mobius comes with a fully featured program with eight different sound profiles to choose from. You can even set head gestures to input keyboard commands for games. But more importantly, you have total control over the HRTF field. HRTF stands for Head Related Transfer Function, and it characterizes how the ear perceives sound in space. There's adjustments for how big your head is, the distance between the ears, and finally how large you want the room ambiance or the size of the spatial audio effect to be. For the headphones themselves, there's three modes to cycle between. There's 3D manual, which will allow you to pick a sound localization point and just keep it there no matter what. There's 3D auto, which will pan the sound localization after you turn your head and it will readjust to that spot as well. And finally, there's 3D on, which will disable head tracking and just keep the reflections on for a bigger sound stage and 3D effect. As for AirPods, you can switch equalizer modes if the app supports it. And of course, you can turn on noise cancellation, which actually works really well in conjunction with 3D audio. You'll also be able to find a bunch of accessibility type settings, like changing the channel balance, as well as adjusting harder to hear sounds. The headphones technically win out on this one, but most people won't actually need to change the effect which is probably why Apple has chosen to omit the spatial audio settings altogether. On the other hand, having noise cancellation actually does help with spatial audio, so in this case, I'll be giving both of them a point each. I've thoroughly tested both devices, and I can definitely say that the headphones are better in terms of tracking and accuracy. There's no latency whatsoever, and the whole experience is smoother overall. Obviously, there's larger drivers in the headphones as well, which gives the sound a sense of verticality. What it means for spatial audio is that the headphones can make it appear as if the sound is coming from above you, giving you a more immersive experience. On the other hand, the AirPods Pro are small and compact, and yet they're able to achieve most of the performance compared to the headphones. Of course, this makes them super convenient to take around, but in terms of tracking and accuracy, the headphones just pull ahead. So the purpose of spatial audio is to provide an immersive and natural sounding experience. And in this case, the AirPods Pro just can't compete to the Mobius. Instead of a large, expansive room-like sound, it seems like Apple's tried to mimic this effect by boosting the highs in the frequency response. From my testing, it seems like it's done in a way where there's actually a little bit of trouble peaking, especially during conversation. I'm sure Apple will improve the sound profile over time. The feature only just got released and they haven't gotten much public feedback. But I will say combining spatial audio and noise cancellation is spectacular. I did all my testing towards the end of summer, so my windows were still open and the fans were turned on. Having noise cancellation block out all of those outside noises really immersed me in whatever I was watching. 
As for the headphones, it really does feel like you're in an acoustically tuned room listening to music or watching movies on a nice set of speakers. This is partly due to the better sound quality overall and the room emulation going on. For all those reasons, the headphones win out in terms of how natural sounding the experience is. And finally, the most disappointing part of Spatial Audio, what it supports and what it works on. Currently, Apple TV Plus and Disney Plus both work with Spatial Audio, with Netflix and Prime Video coming soon after their iOS 14 update. But Apple's made an interesting decision where your AirPods Pro must work in conjunction with your device in order for Spatial Audio to work. That means your AirPods and your device are always aware of each other's position. And this means that the device now becomes the source of sound localization. That makes a lot of sense for watchable content as the sound will now always come from where the picture is. But it indicates that it won't work for music. It could be because that spatial audio actually requires a third set point in your iPhone for it to work properly, but having it not work for music is a huge oversight. It's super disappointing that it doesn't work for music, and it's actually confirmed by iOS 14's options to turn on spatial audio. It states that it turns on for movies and TV shows only. On the other hand, the headphones does all the processing internally, meaning that it works with any audio source. I've listened to all my favorite tracks, and you know, when you get really into the music and you start nodding along, it really feels like you're at a concert or at a club listening to live music. Having the sound move around you is a surreal experience for music that you'll be missing from the AirPods. Overall, the AirPods Pro only got better with this update. They're still the best true wireless IEM, and they're great for movies and TV shows. But I'm super disappointed that it doesn't work for music. My hope is for the AirPods Studio to be able to do everything internally and be enabled for music. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below what you think about the Waves NX demo. Like the video if you liked it, and subscribe to me for more Travis Price Tech. Peace.